Now we're going to look at a problem where we find the standard deviation for a data set. Find the standard deviation for the data items, 3, 6, 2, 1, 7, 3. To find the standard deviation, we're going to draw a chart to help us. And so we're going to start off with our first column, where we're going to list our data items. And I'm going to go ahead and list them in numerical order. That is, I'm going to start with the smallest, which is 1, and then a 2, and then 3, and then another 3, and then 6 and 7. We're going to now, in our second column, need to find the deviation from the mean. And to find that requires us to have the mean. And in a previous problem, we discovered that the mean in this problem was equal to approximately 3.67. So we're going to use this value when we're determining our deviations. That means that in the first row, we're going to take 1 minus 3.67 to come up with our deviation of negative 2.67. In our second row, we're going to have 2 minus 3.67 to come up with our deviation of negative 1.67. 3 minus 3.67 is equal to a negative 0.67. Another one, 3 minus 3.67 equals negative 0.67. We have 6 minus 3.67, which is going to equal 2.33. And then 7 minus 3.67 which is equal to 3.33. Now, continuing in our chart, we're going to make a third column. And in our third column, we're going to take the value of the deviation, and we're going to square that result. So we'll start off with squaring the negative 2.67. We end up with 7.1289. And now continuing down, squaring negative 1.67, gives us 2.7889. Negative 0.67 squared is 0 0.4489. And we end up with that once again. 2.33 squared is going to be 5.4289. And 3.33 squared is 11.0889. Now, in order to continue finding the standard deviation at this point, what we're going to do is take the sum of this column. And we come up with the sum of the deviation squared equal to 27.3334. To continue, we're going to take that sum and divide that by n minus 1. So it will look like this. We'll have 27.3334 divided by our value of n, which is the number of data items, 6 minus 1. We'll evaluate that by subtracting 1 from 6 to give us 5, and then dividing 27.3334 by 5, and that gives us 5.46668. Now, to, con to finish up the problem, we want to end up getting our standard deviation. And the standard deviation is going to equal the square root of the value that we found right here. So we're going to have the square root of 5.46668, and that is approximately equal to 2.34 as our standard deviation.